Hello everybody, this is Pong the Great. Again, I'm here with Blinkered Eddie, and this is going to be a small demonstration of the progression of power. Eddie's going to be shooting a variety of weapons at two liter bottles full of water, and I will try to tell you which guns he's using at which time, and we're going to see what they do to two liters of water to kind of hopefully give you an idea of the type of power we're dealing with. His first gun is going to be a 9mm pistol. Okay, Eddie, go ahead and shoot. Okay, his next gun is going to be 38 Special. Okay, Eddie, go ahead and shoot. Okay, his next gun is going to be a 40 caliber. Okay, go ahead and shoot. Okay, his next gun is going to be 357 Magnum. He has to reload this time because the 357 Magnum is also the 38 Special. Okay, Eddie, go ahead and shoot. Okay, his next gun is going to be 12 gauge bird shot. Okay, the next one is going to be 12 gauge slug. Ooh. Okay, the next one is going to be the AK 47. It's in, it's chambered. Just take it off safety and shoot. Oh, Ed, come over to the left. Okay, right there. Okay, we'll just grab another bullet. They're in the box. To the left, Eddie. Right there. Okay, go ahead. AK-47. Just put it on safe. Okay, the last one is going to be 303 British Infield. And this one we weren't too sure about because it's got a scope on it. And we never got a chance to sight the scope in. 
so we're not sure if we're even going to be able to hit it. But God, I hope so. Okay, Eddie, wherever you're comfortable. To the left a little. A little bit more. Just a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Okay, 303 British infield. Go ahead. Woo, look at that baby fly. Okay, Eddie, make it safe. Do you want to shoot the other two? Okay, go ahead. 303 British. Okay, now let's take a look at some of the bottles. shot. Go ahead and look at the viewfinder and make sure that they can see. Zoom out if you have to. Okay, this is bird shot from the 12 gauge. This one I believe was the 38 special, but it hit high up. This one, I believe, was a 357, almost dead center. It split the bottle really well. Made a nice little crease on exit. This is 12 gauge slug. It actually melted the plastic. Which one is this? These are both infield. Okay. This one was actually really good. This is 303 British, again. It melted the plastic. This one just got a real good entry and exit right at the top. Okay. This one actually just barely pierced the top. Again, though, it's a little bit melted right there. This is a real good example of hydrostatic shock. Okay, that's 303 British. Split it. That's the entry right there. It split it and started melting it. All right, that was Pong the Great and Blinkered Eddie. Have a nice day.